welcome back to my channel lush foliage so today i was planning to uh, take my society garlic i'll put the botanical name on the screen uh, this is how the flowers tend to look like absolutely beautiful now i'm planning to do a little bit of changes to this place because uh, i had just used random stuff over here but now i want to kind of change the entire setup so i have already taken out all the geraniums from this i will show you the geraniums in some time but uh, this is what i wanted to take out now i have experimented taking out a few of the shoots but uh, looks like they definitely need a good amount of roots uh, only then they tend to uh, you know get propagated or they multiply uh, if you're just going to take some cutting in between they are not going to uh, propagate so i have to be extremely careful so i'll have to dig out until and unless i don't find the roots uh, there's a lot of organic matter in this a lot of dry uh, tea leaves uh, dry leaves etc and that has been uh, the soil media for the geraniums as well as the society garlic so today i was planning to take out the entire bunch and i want to see if i can kind of separate them into uh, multiple pots maybe uh, three to four pots uh, if there are enough uh, of these uh, roots now when i'm going to take them out i will also check because i've never checked whether these have tubers bulbs rhizomes or just plain roots this is something that i'll get to know today so i will be uh, taking them out these are all the dried flowers so we need to take them out they easily come out uh, like a strand so these are all the dry flowers the stalk comes out very very easily which i will again put it in some pot so coming back uh, let me get some tools and see how deep i need to dig because these were put in uh, into this pot probably uh, a year or year and a half back i'm not very sure but it's been really long time and they are very well settled i had just got one shoot from one of my friend but now they have grown into a very large bunch so i'll have to check how many can i uh, separate and put in each of the pots so guys as you can see i was not able to pull them out from the soil so i had to topple the entire uh, pot and this is how the root system looks like and the soil is very healthy the roots are crazy huge and that's why i was not able to pull it out i thought i might happen to break it so i didn't want to put any much more pressure on them so i toppled the entire pot and you can see it's kind of not not root bound but yes a lot of roots so now i have to break in through and then separate it uh, looks like they have these uh, bulbs just like uh, the spring onions they have these small bulbs which have completely uh, compact and into the soil and it's very difficult to take it out if i happen to pull it out it will definitely break into half we need to take it out with these bulbs and the roots then it will be able to grow quite well because last time i had taken this portion of the cutting it didn't survive so they need the entire bulb area so i will figure it out how to open it up uh, so that uh, i don't damage any of the roots uh, as i said i had got only one of them and you can see uh, they have multiplied into so many shoots uh, that's amazing so probably i'll be able to make uh, uh, probably four pots out of it so let's uh, take this out i will uh, take something and break this soil apart so guys i have separated the soil as much as i could and trust me the smell is really terrible uh, it smells like garlic but uh, very pungent smell uh, that's why i think this is also called as a snake repellent plant uh, if you check on google uh, it says that it's a snake repellent plant probably because of that pungent smell it does have a very pungent smell so this is all of the roots now i don't have any other option than to cut it into smaller pieces because uh, this looks like it's not going to get separated that easily so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to be chopping it in the center so let me hold the camera over here and we'll have to cut it through so that we can get the tubers okay. so i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use three of them because it's very difficult to uh, cut them so i'm just going to make three pots that's going to be more than enough uh, because I do not want to further damage it. I can definitely make few more. Uh, let's give another try over here. 
think that's good so I think yes four is gonna be more than enough I have made another one so we are gonna plant four of them so what I'm gonna do is I'll be using the same soil that I have collected I do not want to waste the soil so I'll be using the same soil and I will repot them so after repotting I will give you a quick look of how it looks because this soil is very very fertile as I said it is very organic it's very loose it's very porous so this is going to work out really well you can see amazing soil because uh, this soil has been added fertilizers uh, compost tea uh, tea leaves and hence it is you can see it looks a little bit compact but it breaks very easily uh, it's very very organic so I'll be using this soil it's very healthy so guys we are kind of done I have repotted them I used the same soil mix so luckily I didn't have to make the soil mix again because uh, that soil mix was very good now unfortunately they are looking a little bit droopy because we have just cut them off but that's absolutely okay as and when they'll get adjusted they will start to get upright once again now I will do a little bit of watering again the same rain water and uh, to be honest the smell of this is really really bad it's more worse than uh, garlic no wonder why they call it as society garlic because it does smell terrible and uh, I will quickly finish up with the watering and I'm gonna keep them in indirect bright light for at least a couple of days and then once they are completely settled I will then start moving them to morning direct sunlight where they were usually placed so we will have to do that so I'll water some more so as you can see it's pretty simple now I'm not very sure where will you find this plant because I haven't seen them being sold in a lot of nurseries uh, very rarely they are sold I had got it from my friend so luckily I was able to uh, multiply and propagate them so even uh, the flower has got damaged a little bit but that's absolutely okay uh, we will get new flowers very soon a uh, little bit of damage on this flower uh, but it's okay we will just continue to add some water until the water starts passing through the drain hole and uh, that's about it so I will give you an update once they start doing quite well uh, once they are all upright and they are again starting to bloom I will definitely make a video so this is how uh, we can report our society garlic so basically you need to get uh, those bulbs along with roots and then it is going to work out really well do not cut them in center like this it is not going to get propagated so if you have this plant and you're planning to propagate it go with this method and it is going to work out really well because when i had got the plant i had got it with bulb and roots so that's why it was able to grow into so many more shoots so guys that's all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was, please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.